Well, caucus or primary, that was a decision Republican presidential candidates had to make in Nevada. And today was a deadline for White House hopefuls to make that choice. Ben Marjad is live in our studio with who's participating in which contest and why. Ben, it is a lot to... Absolutely, Shelby. The Nevada GOP chose to forge ahead and still hold a caucus despite the new state run presidential primary. The party also said if you participate in that primary, you cannot win any Nevada delegates. Those will be given to the winner of the caucus. As you said, today was the deadline and here's how it played out. We were the first to report this morning that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis will run in the caucus after all alongside former President Donald Trump, as well as Vivek Ramaswamy, Craig, Chris Christie and Doug Burgum. And here's the list of major candidates who have registered for the primary Senator Tim Scott, former Vice President Mike Pence and Nikki Haley. If you haven't followed this closely, the caucus will be held just two days after the primary. So two different contests with different candidates in a span of just three days. We talked to UNR political science professor Jeremy Gelman about this. He says it's obvious why candidates chose the caucus. They want a chance to win delegates. But he says the primary where no delegates will be awarded can still be valuable to campaigns, even though it technically won't get them any closer to the nomination. Here's why. For most Republican donors or voters, winning the Nevada primary, they don't know that doesn't come with any delegates. So it's this great talking point to say you have momentum. People might misinterpret that, that they beat Trump. So there's a good reason they're doing that. He said winning that primary still could come with a big boost in fundraising and in the media cycle with a lot of attention. By the way, about three and a half months left until the primary and the caucus both set for early February. And if you want to check out the full list of who signed up for which contest, just go to our website, mynews4.com. Live in studio, Ben Marjan, News 4 on your side.